Greetings folks, this is the latest little useful gadget from Toolkit RC. It is the MC8 multifunctional checker. It's a battery checker, a battery balancer, RC signal generator and measurer and USB charger all in one. Nice little unit uh, and we have uh, XT60 input, uh, balance plug port there servo style input and output there we have a usb a and usb c output and input a scroll wheel and a, a slider here an input slider we also get a usb a to usb a cable there a little quick start guide there and a screen protector here that you can peel off and stick on there all right, well, let's plug it in and see what happens. Let's plug uh, a 4S LiPo into the XT60 and we'll see it come to life. On this screen, just with the XT60 plugged in, we can see the overall voltage, 16.75 volts. But if we plug the balance port in onto this other side here, We'll get the individual cell voltages there. Now the unit can get power from the XT60 or from the balance port there uh, for the other functions. We scroll the scroll wheel and we get to the PWM output. So if you plug the servo into here, uh, you would be able to operate the servo like that. I'll show you that in a minute. We can change from PWM output S bus output, PPM output. If we scroll on further, we can measure a PWM input. And we can change to S bus, so we can measure S bus outputs on each of the 16, are they? Yeah, 16 channels there from a receiver. I should be able to show that as well. And the same with PPM measuring. Very good for checking if all your receiver channels are working and things like that. Input voltage 7 to 35 volts. See the pulse width changing uh, when we operate the slider. Let's plug a servo in and see what that actually does. So operating the slider and there you go, it's operating the servo. Uh, now what you often want to do is get the um, pulse width to 1500 microseconds. Uh, it's a bit hard to do with a slider though, unfortunately. You can't sort of dial it in accurately like that. So uh, what you can do is just check that the servo is actually working. That's pretty cool. Uh, measure PWM. Let's uh, have a look at the other possibilities. It can measure SBUS as well. So let's uh, plug an SBUS receiver in there. I have my transmitter here. Turn that on first. I have uh, an S bus uh, receiver model there. Plug the receiver in. That is bound up. Oh, and activate that, and there you get the uh, S bus readouts. So you can see the individual channels all uh, showing up on the screen there. And check up all your switches and everything like that. Great stuff. That's very useful. On the Charger output side here, we have a USB A and USB C. We get a USB A to USB A cable for firmware updates, uh, and that's downloadable from the Toolkit RC website. Um, it's an EXE file, so it's PC only, not Mac compatible, unfortunately. Uh, USB C uh, can charge in the PD mode uh, 5 to 12 volts, 20 watt maximum. USB A is normal uh, USB level of 5 volts and 1 amp output. So that is a pretty useful and nice sized little, little unit. Uh, easy to fit in your pocket or in your RC bag. And you can also charge your phone out in the field, test that your servos are working, test that your receivers are uh, connected properly and working. Um, yeah, pretty useful little, little piece of kit. That's the MC8 from Toolkit RC. Thanks for watching.